Hey everybody, Barbara Dave here. Um, before we go into the final day of the uh, Blackland uh, Osprey Fat Boy Shootout, uh, I wanted to go ahead and do a cleaning video uh, on this, even though my razor really doesn't need it. But I know that there's been some discussion around some of the forums on this getting a little bit crazy. And I apologize, I'm doing this backwards on you know soap scum and everything getting into the razor and everything else. And you can also notice uh, that I had mentioned that the razor had some issues as far as being able to see the numbers and all I did there was take a very fine tip ink pen and then I put um, red in there with some fingernail polish over the top of it and it seems to work fine. So as far as cleaning the razor, there's a couple things you can do. A lot of people will take one of these, a sock, take the whole razor, take the razor blade out, you can separate the parts, put that all together put that uh, with a rubber band and throw it in your dishwasher. It is stainless steel, so it's not gonna hurt. Plus it gets the heat and the steam and everything else. I probably will not do that, but you can. So all you need to do is just disassemble the razor. And that's very easy. Grab the top cap, unscrew it. Okay, and then that also allows you to make whatever adjustments you want, but you don't need to take the razor apart to do that. You just need to crack it. So then take the top cap out. And then what I'll do is I'll take the razor blade and I'll put that over here, and then you've got the top cap. Now in this bowl, so now it's ready to be clean, those three things. The only thing that you may wanna do is if you're worried that there's gonna be some soap scum in that brass insert, it's real easy uh, to take out. And you can see that the flow through with the water would also be very, very easy. But if you wanna clean it, just take a precision screwdriver, and you can actually get a, a larger one too, and just, um, and it takes a little jimmying to get uh, the screwdriver in there, uh, depending on what you're using. And then just basically unscrew the brass insert. And it comes out just like that. And you can see, I'm sorry, you can see that. It just comes out like that, pops right out. So you've got the brass insert. And what I do is this bowl over here has got some water and some Dawn Power Wash. The reason why I use the Dawn Power Wash uh, is it doesn't leave a residue. So I'll just take all the parts and dump them in there. And that's it. Uh, then I'll take uh, a toothbrush and I'll just brush through uh, all the areas. Now, um, and obviously you can have some running water through the faucet to get that down, but that gets that completely clean. Or if you want, you can take a Q-tip, dip it in there and kind of go through. But the water flow through is real easy on this thing. And I apologize if I keep going off camera, I'm having to kind of stretch forward. Then I'll put that back in and I'll just repeat the process on the top cap and then also on the unit. Now, don't worry about this head floating a little bit. It's gonna do that. That's part of the adjustment mechanism. And then I'll just put it in there. Now, under normal conditions, you can let it soak if you want, uh, but like I said, my razor's brand new. And then as far as the brass insert, that's where a lot of people are concerned. There's gonna be a lot of soap scum getting in those ridges. And all you have to do is just brush it. And I guess you could put a little bit of lubricating oil on it uh, to put it back in. But um, then what I'll do is normally I'll rinse this under uh, hot water and then cold water. But there you go. So that's clean and dry. Same with the top cap. I'll just rinse it off, dry it off. And the adjustment, you'll notice since the adjustment unit is in the head, that won't move around very much. I mean, you can move it, but it's a very nice tight uh, amount. So you don't have to worry about it coming out of adjustment uh, while you're cleaning it. Uh, same with the... Um, with the handle and you can blow the handle out because uh, everything flows through this thing real easy. Like I said, you can see through it on both sides. So that's real easy. And then of course, uh, the top cap, you can do very, very easily. And then what I do, and this is just something that, that I do, is I'll take uh, some rubbing alcohol uh, because rubbing alcohol will allow it to, uh, you know, rubbing alcohol will evaporate. So any moisture's in there. This is something I also do on my straight razors. And I'll just rub that, let that uh, dry up a little bit. Then I'll take a Q-tip, put a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol in the Q-tip, and then rub it through 
the interior part of the uh, razor and on the scallops on the outside and uh, also in the thread holes and stuff like that. Let that in. And I'll repeat that process for both the, um, the cap and everything else. Then I'll give it one final wipe down. And like I said, this razor is brand new, so it's not going to be dirty. So then as far as reinstalling, and you can leave it just like this if you want the, the razor to be light, because this brass insert is pretty heavy. So just drop that in there and then uh, line up your screwdriver again. If you can line it up sometimes. It's a, that, that part, I probably will never take this thing out because it's... Uh, it takes a little bit to find the find there we go to find the uh, threads and then just snug that it doesn't have to be super tight then I'll take the blade uh, and I don't very often clean the blade but I will take the blade put the blade back onto the top cap take the top of the razor whoops take the top of the razor put it on take the top cap and screw it on now what I usually do you know I want to make sure that you you know you've got the setting the way you want it okay and you don't have to over tighten this just nice and snug and double check and then if you want to adjust it all you have to do is just crack this that's it and you can move it around to whatever position you want and that's what I do love about this razor is you can do five five and a quarter five and a half you can move it wherever you want and that's it um, for uh, cleaning the razor. So if any of you folks have got, uh, are worried about uh, it getting gunky or anything like that, it just won't happen. And then, like I said, you can always fall back to throwing it in a sock and put it in the dishwasher. Uh, so that's kind of the disassembly of the Osprey. So those of you folks that have had reservations uh, regarding uh, getting one of these razors because of the cleaning issues, I wouldn't let that stop you at all. It's a fantastic razor. All right, everybody, we'll see you tomorrow for day three of the Blackland Osprey versus the Gillette Fat Boy. And we'll see who the winner is. Take care, everybody.